And the governor also is proposing new taxes on the Marcellus shale industry. And uh, with some reaction to that, we got on the live line David Spiegelmeyer, who is the Marcellus Shale Coalition president. Good afternoon, David. And first of all, any surprise that the governor proposed this? I think we all knew he was going to do something that would uh, hit your industry a little bit. Yeah, no doubt about that, John. Good to be with you this afternoon. I, I guess the yeah we we've certainly had a heads up on this for quite some time. He made it a cornerstone of his his campaign, but. I would just say that based upon the, the message that the governor delivered today uh, to residents of the Commonwealth, that it just doesn't make a lot of sense. He talked about, you know, the highest corporate and income tax. I think he termed that as appalling and alluded to our corporate tax structure for businesses and industries across, across Pennsylvania. I would suggest that uh, operators in the shale industry pay all of those business taxes. Plus, we have a separate tax. We call it an impact tax. That you know, next month we'll we'll top eight hundred and fifty million dollars that's been spread broadly to all sixty seven counties across the Commonwealth in the last thirty six months. So this is an industry that's grown jobs. It's been the bright spot on our horizon for growing jobs. Yet we now have a tax proposal on the table that would make Pennsylvania one of the highest uh, severance tax states. You know, and he talked about a five percent rate, but he talks about the West Virginia model that's a five percent tax plus a a rider of 4.7 cents on top of that, that based upon sales of gas in Pennsylvania on the price structure today would make it an 8% tax broadly across the Commonwealth that would drive jobs and investment from the state of Pennsylvania. So I, I would say that it just doesn't make a lot of sense for us. Yeah, you mentioned what's happening in West Virginia, but when you compare what you have now in, in Pennsylvania, would, would these increases, if they come about, be enough to curtail some of your operations here, or, or what would you do? Joe, our opponents would say today that uh, the gas is here and this industry isn't going anywhere. We've already watched uh, our rig counts drop from 138 rigs in early February of 2012 to less than 50 today. We've already seen some migration outside the state, not necessarily uh, from you know tax proposals, but you know the commodity itself on the western side of Pennsylvania and the liquid side has certainly softened. Uh, you know, we, we've lost certainty in Pennsylvania with the approach of trying to add an onerous tax rate that would make Pennsylvania, you know, one of the highest severance tax states in the country. So, you know, that uncertainty we know for a fact has forced some operators to say, you know, they've tapped the brakes and, and held off on their investments. More than $9 billion of capital that was planned for 2015 has been announced that won't be spent in 2015 that will not only impact developers that are working on natural gas, but the supply chain that has been, the, I would say, the economic lifeblood of job growth in western Pennsylvania and certainly across Pennsylvania. Is that rig drop in some cases, though, is that driven by market conditions or is that driven by just doing business in Pennsylvania? I, I would tell you it's market conditions primarily, but business in Pennsylvania there's been a level of uncertainty in Pennsylvania. The governor talked about uh, our resources. And, you know, I think most folks of the Commonwealth know that, you know, the minerals in our state are privately owned other than the state lands development. And when I said it doesn't make sense, the governor talked a lot today about funding education. Yet a couple weeks ago, the governor came out and said, well, we're not going to do any production on state parklands. Well, you know, there may be a lot of folks in the Commonwealth that disagree with drilling for natural gas on our state parks, but with horizontal development, you can drill on private acreage off of state lands, drill under the state uh, properties, and develop that resource and provide income to, you know, invest in our schools and our industries and, and to help Pennsylvania grow. When I talked about it doesn't make sense, the governor talked about growing jobs and economic opportunity for Pennsylvanians, yet we would put a tax on the shale industry, which has been the bright spot, put a tax in this industry that would certainly have us lose development, you know, investment in Pennsylvania and have an impact on job growth. Would this affect the payments to the people you lease your land from, or would that not be affected by this? There have been a lot of folks in Pennsylvania that have uh, uh, that have been leased but yet ha- have not yet, you know, gained the fortunes of having folks drill upon their acreage. I would tell you as, you know, this industry drops capital plans for Pennsylvania, it would certainly impact the development plans on some of those acres as well. If you 
increase taxation by its very principle, you're going to get less of it. If we're less attractive to invest in Ohio or Texas or Louisiana or Arkansas, those dollars and those, those companies have a fiduciary responsibility to invest those dollars elsewhere and not in Pennsylvania. So when you ask, will it affect current uh, folks that are under lease, certainly it would. It's a proposal today. What's the coalition got planned between now and when it becomes the budget? You know, we're going to continue to try and educate people that we're already paying our fair share. As the governor said, the corporate tax structure in Pennsylvania is appalling, but we're not paying our fair share is his message. And we pay all of those same taxes plus the additional impact tax that's equivalent to more than a 3% rate in Pennsylvania. So, now, we're paying our fair share. We're going to make sure that the legislative folks that have to vote on a budget are aware uh, of the tax implications upon the industry and the jobs that could be jeopardized. But the fact that we're already paying our fair share, that we are the, the bright spot. I think the governor alluded to the fact that we have affordable energy. I think the real answer for Pennsylvania is the use of affordable and reliable source of natural gas to grow manufacturing once again in our region. I think that's the real bright spot for Pennsylvania. It's a one we're gonna, the one we're going to shine a pretty bright light on over the next three to six months, whatever it takes to get a budget done in Pennsylvania. David, thanks a lot for talking with us this afternoon. We appreciate it. Thanks, Joe. Uh, appreciate being